Fantasy is the ultimate shape, the ability to shape our own reality, an alternative truth that becomes the all-encompassing fact. The real power of our species is the ability to build a story, to formulate a creative narrative out of bleak and banal information. Info wars, culture clashes, and all simply social constructs of a campfire kind. Why write a fantasy book when economic theory and political history already provide the names and concepts to explore? All it needs is a subjective opinion and a handful of creative metaphors. Wizards in a parliamentary world. Policies making for incantations casting the spell that is law over a charmed citizenry. One must never forget that the law is simply law. The entire world is a collaborative fan fiction, a highly contested wiki page of hard-working neckbeards who have dedicated their energies to the world's ultimate story. Our interpretations of history, the story of nations and plot armour in ideology. If you want to change the world, you must contest the narrative with sufficiently creative works. Convince the readers that you are canon. Use history to carve your character into lore, a sense of journey to now. Rapture them in all the literary emotions that encapsulate your research. The banal list of statistics and minutes that are rendered in history books are in reality addictive. Confection for a mind once melded into lore. To consecrate your narrative into zeitgeist is to wield ultimate power for an entire season. Are you a bringer of good or a frivolous toddler? A hardened mercantile or an affronting smirk and mirrors? Facts are immutable, but also inherently unknowable when shrouded by inherent and acquired desires. The desire for change comes from a deluded sense of change in reality. The pain of life comes from a poorly amalgamated narrative, where plot holes are present, a poorly paved timeline. I'm a story writer, as we all are. Our cinematic universe is spread through a million different canonical ideas, forming an absolute crossover in the form of our singular reality. The one reinforced concrete in an otherwise plastic and cardboard creation. And to make a box fort when surrounded by combined citadels built upon 2,000 years of concentrated rubble. From Rome to Paris, London, and the Hollywood horror of the United States, Empire control has been the Western canon. Backed by a thousand years of lore, this tumultuous tale has been consecrated, an unshakable core series to the collective mind. This theme is never to fade until the next timeline, when the rubble is dust and the dust is deep and lonely sediment. It's an inevitable sediment. All stories must be built upon that great rendition, one that lent itself from millennia of drafts to form, and now itself provides a kind of draft for the current convoluted entourage. Is the story that West falls to East? Is the narrative a more wholesome tale of amalgamation? Will the unconsidered threads, niche storylines in our scruffy series emerge to play a role unforeseen? This all depends on who writes the most compelling story in the end.